This is Movo WMX20 Duo Wireless Lavalier Microphone System and it comes in two versions, single and double transmitter. Here I got the double transmitter model and with this one, you can use the system with two people talking at the same time. Omahe and let's put this guy on test. This entire video was filmed using the Movo Lavalier Microphone and we'll tell you more about my audio settings. I'm using Sony 6600 camera, audio level 6, and the microphone receiver audio level is 26. First of all, I'm happy to have a security adapter on the microphone audio jack, so it doesn't come off from the transmitter, even when I push hardly, like, it's all there. Disclaimer. I received this unit from Movo to review here on my channel, however, my review is fully independent and all what I'm gonna share with you guys is my personal feedback. As you see guys, the Movo WMX20 is not small like the trending wireless audio systems such as Rode, Synco, Ceramonic, and whatever. The dual version is selling at $199. And as you're watching this video, you probably noticed that this guy has a good audio quality, which make it, in fact, a great value for the price. I kept some links down below. Prices may change over time. So the trade-off here is the Movo is bigger in size, but comes with two lavalier microphones, an XLR adapter, as well as having the option to connect up to 48 microphones at the same time. Movo has no built-in batteries, and when filming a documentary, for example, you need a reliable audio system, and I see the AA batteries work the best here. Probably using AA rechargeable batteries is the best in this situation. Let's save the nature. Well, if you're looking for an audio preset that masters and enhances your audio quality in Adobe Premiere, I'm selling my audio mastering preset for $3 only. Head off to omagamrawi.com slash store and get yours now. So each unit weighs about less than 100 grams, 3 ounces, and rated to work up to 100 meters, 300 feet. Um, the receiver has a headphone jack. Uh, it's important to monitor the audio quality and the microphone levels of camera. And each transmitter, in addition, has a mic input as well as a line audio input. That could be an audio coming from a mixer. The WMX20 system is rated to run for about 6 hours via AA batteries. And since we have a battery indicator on each unit, it's easy to monitor the battery levels. In the carry case, we also get 4 microphone windscreen and 4 mini clips as well. We have extra ones for emergency. Now regarding the audio settings, with Movo WMX20, we can choose to record both transmitters on stereo channels. So the audio coming from transmitter A and B will be mixed in one audio track. Or we can choose mono, so one transmitter goes to the right and the other one to the left channel. However, when using one transmitter only, choose a stereo, so the audio goes on both the channels left and right. At the end, the only thing I don't like about this system is that's missing the audio level indicator on each unit. But that's okay since I can monitor the audio level on my camera. And for that price, I can't really complain so much. I hope this video helped in making your decision. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Show me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful. And bump the subscribe button for more camera gear reviews. Thank you for watching guys. This was Oma and see you in another one.